rim fire shells with different velocities, starting with the uh, quiet, and that's like 710. Going all the way up to the Stinger, which is 16 something, 1640. Okay, that's the name. It's Deutschwerkwerk 3. And uh, it's missing a little thing there, but it's uh, got a trap door. So you pull this, flip it up, single shot, and you just put the shell in there. It's actually quite accurate and I mean it's I don't know what this gun would have cost in the in 19 let's say 19 I think they made it up to 1930 or something like that or around there so like that was during the from 1910 it started at 1910 so I mean they were doing pretty good then until after the war so so yeah i'm going to use this gun i'm going to shoot at that i'm going to put a whole bunch of boards together and see how many boards each shell will go through i'm a little optimistic there i got all these one inch boards or three quarter inch i guess cartridge so this is next because it's the next speed and so those ones uh these are quieter quite a bit quieter than these ones this is a snipe what's it called a gula sniper subsonic but they're 900 feet per second 60 grain that'll be interesting these are 40 grain uh seven seven ten feet per second then we bump all the way up to 1200 feet per second and this is a solid Uh, copper plated or something brass so yeah you do that and you put that in there and then try not to give it a nudge and then I got some loaded ready to go no safety besides this huh, I can't my eyes aren't good enough to see that it's only about 15 yards and I can't see where I'm hitting, but the other three were on target. These faster ones might be a little, a little different. Oh, this is a solid bullet too. So I only have two hollow points, and they're the, both the hypersonic ones. So you have to, you should have that pointed down. Oh, okay. Shots were decent. That one didn't get much better. They're all decent, I guess. The stinger was was the highest one. So let's take these apart. And so my first shot. Let's okay. Oh, there's a bullet. The very first one didn't make it through the first board. And then you can see, so those are the 710 feet per second ones. This one's a hollow point. This one's the solid. That's odd, eh? That uh, the round nose, uh, quiet. I thought the hollow point would go as far. So then you go like this. Looks like they all made it into the third board. All oh, the other one. Oh wait, I forgot about this one. That's the 60 grain. It's the quiet and it uh, is also a solid bullet. It made it through right to there. It's there it is. So I'll be able to pull all these bullets out. These this, these boards are fused. None of them made it through the fifth board. So then 10 feet per second, 710 feet per second, quiet. 
CCI 40 grain lead nose round. Got the least amount of penetration made into the first. It didn't make it to the second board. This one, the copper plated hollow point made it into the second board. And then that was also the quiet. And then the uh, Gula lead 60 grain at 910 feet per second or 950 made it into the third board, stopped. All the rest of them made it into, stopped in the fourth board, except this one, which was the slowest of the high velocity or hypers. 1255, golden bullet, which is, a, uh, it's kind of a copper alloy or brass plated bullet and uh, not a hollow, hollow point. And then this one did the most mushrooming, 1300 feet per second, also around nose copper plated. And then the yellow jacket still stopped in the fourth, and but this made it the furthest, almost, almost into the fifth board, yellow jacket at 1500 feet per second. And then this one, the Stinger 1640 didn't, uh, do, do, it was the third, third deepest. This looks like it spent the most energy and yeah, so it shows those slow, those quiet ones. I mean, they're not very potent. Probably bounce off a gopher, I'm guessing. With that old German gun, it actually did pretty good at uh, 1500 yards. Or maybe it wasn't quite that far. Anyways, pretty happy with that. Especially that one.